It's time for a wellness time revolution. For a wellness revolution. Brought to you by Hotsi Health and Wellness Center. Honest discussion on maintaining health and wellness naturally to enjoy a better quality of life. He's the doctor fighting to let you keep your doctor. Now, Dr. Stephen Hotsi. Dr. Hotsi's Wellness Revolution podcast is brought to you by Physicians Preference Pharmacy, formerly Hotsi Pharmacy. Welcome to Dr. Hotsi's Wellness Revolution. I'm Stacey Banfield here with Dr. Stephen Hotsi, founder of the Hotsi Health and Wellness Center. And today we've got a wonderful expert on the show today, Dr. Berkson, and he's going to educate us on alpha lipoic acid. Dr. Hotsi. Thank you so much, Stacey, and thank you for joining us on my wellness. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much, Bert, and thank each one of you listeners for joining us here today because I believe that you do need a doctor and a staff of professionals who can coach you onto a path of health and wellness naturally. So as you mature, you got energy and vitality and enthusiasm about life. That's what it's all about as you age. You want to feel alive and well. No sense in being part of the walking wounded or having one peel on a one foot on a banana peel and the other in the grave. We want you to be energetic and alive. Today, we're going to visit with Dr. Bert Bergson. Dr. Bergson uh, went to Roosevelt University. He ended up getting a Ph.D. in biology from University of Illinois. Then he earned his medical degree, did internal medicine residency at, at uh, Chase Western, and uh, did pathology for two years at Mount Sinai. He is now in practice in New Mexico. Where is it, Las Cruces? Las Cruces, yes. Las Cruces, New Mexico. And he's been in practice there since 1997? When did you start there? 1996. 1996. And Dr. Berkson, I'm especially interested in his work in alpha-lipoic acid. My colleague, Dr. David Sheridan, introduced me to Dr. Berkson, and I've heard Dr. Berkson speak at the Pan American Allergy Society, and I heard about his wonderful story of healing uh, people with chronic end-stage liver failure using alpha-lipoic acid. So, Dr. Berkson, you were trained very conventionally like I was, and what happened to you when you were at Chase Western uh, that caused you to change your thinking and turns you on to alpha lipoic acid? Well, you know, in Cleveland in 1977, there were a lot of cases of people eating poisonous mushrooms, Ammonita verna, Ammonita virosa, and these mushrooms destroy the liver. And pe oh, people almost always die from eating these mushrooms. Uh, one, one bite will kill a man. And people first, were dying one first, after another. First, let me ask you a question. And it was in a, hey, yes. Bert, why in the world would anybody go out and eat a mushroom? <laughs> well, many of the people in the Cleveland area are uh, Eastern European, uh, have Eastern European backgrounds. Right. And they collect mushrooms and eat them. So there was a whole rash of these uh, deaths. And, and no one knew what to do. And liver transplant surgery was just beginning at that time. Uh, they didn't have enough livers for them. And one day, uh, my wife uh, knew a, a pediatrician. And uh, she told the pediatrician that I, I knew I was a mycologist, uh, the study of fungi. That's what my PhD is in. And I, and I might know some, some ways of uh, reversing this uh, this horrible uh, death from eating poisonous mushrooms, the destruction of the liver. So uh, the pediatrician wrote an article in, in the Cleveland newspaper and said, Dr. Bergson might know how to reverse this. And I was uh, a resident at the, at the uh, hospital at that time. And I, I guess the chiefs thought I was um, contacting the newspaper saying I knew more than they did. So all of the, um, all of these people with uh, horrible liver disease were put on my service, and I was told they're going to die in your service. See how you feel. Well, I knew Dr. Fred Barter, uh, who was uh, chief at National Institutes of Health, and I called him up, and I asked him, is there anything in the world that you know of 
that are, that'll regenerate a liver. And he said he was studying alpha lipoic acid as a wonder drug for the reversal of diabetes, adult onset diabetes mellitus, and diabetic complications. But when they give it to people with diabetes, they seem to regenerate their livers. So he sent me two cases, and the first two people who came in, I injected them at this uh, big hospital uh, with the lipoic acid. Within two weeks, they regrew their livers. And I was amazed. And uh, the chiefs, uh, some of the chiefs um, had told me I could get in big trouble for this because I was using a drug that wasn't on their formulary. And the formulary committee would not meet for a month, and I just had to... Um, get it from NIH and use it. Then Dr. Barter came out to uh, Cleveland with a group of uh, doctors from uh, National Institutes of Health to examine the patients and set up a, uh, a conference on organ regeneration, and they asked me to be the lead speaker rather than any of the chiefs. And uh, that created quite a problem, and it got worse, ever, kept getting worse uh, fr from that point. And so you had, and then, so you, uh, you, you, doc, you had, you had doctor, you first, you yeah. had success with these patients that would have died that were in end stage liver failure, waiting for a liver transplant, and you injected I, I am or intravenously the alpha lipoic acid. Intra, intra, intravenous, uh, uh, four times, four times a day in the hospitals. Right, and they literally regenerated their liver. Now, it's hard to. The proofs in the pudding. I mean, exactly. it, seems, it seems like if I were a doctor and another doctor told me something that could be done that would completely regenerate the liver and restore the health and save the life of my patient, I'd want to know about it and I'd try it and see if it worked. I know. You, you know Julian Whitaker? Yes. Well, Julian Whitaker wrote the foreword to my book, The Alpha Lipoic Acid Breakthrough. And he said, when I was young, I thought if something new came along that was really effective for, for many diseases, it would become standard of care within a short time. He said, now that I've been practicing for 35 years, I realize that most, patient, most doctors would rather have their patients die than do something different. Isn't that the That's truth? That's a sad commentary. Mm. Okay, so well, Dr. Any... Barter, let, let, let me let me Go add ahead. this. Dr. Barter and I were invited to uh, Germany to be visiting scientists at the Max Planck Institute in, in Heidelberg. And we presented our information there, and we published um, uh, two papers on 79 people who had uh, end-stage liver disease, and we gave them nothing but intravenous alpha lipoic acid. Within a short time, within one month, 75 out of 79 regenerated their livers, and it was published. No no interest in America. When I got back to Cleveland, I was told I really shouldn't talk about this anymore because it might, it might hurt the liver transplant business. Now, folks, did you hear that? There's a whole lot more money in, in liver transplants, which is a multi-hundred thousand dollars of money procedure, than it is to give something natural like alpha lipoic acid and regenerate the level liver. And that's a sad commentary on the medical industrial complex where they would prefer to keep people sick and on drugs all their life or, or perform some kind of surgery which could be prevented simply by using something as natural as alpha lipoic acid. So tell us a little about alpha lipoic acid. Where do you derive it? What, is it, uh, well, what does it yeah, do? How does it regenerate the liver? Well, you know, lipoic acid is a, uh, a natural molecule. Every cell of your body produces it. And it's very small amounts. And what it does, it turns your food into energy. It's a key to getting energy from your food in the mitochondrion, the energy factory of the cell. Right. And without it, without lipoic acid, we'd all be dead. So it does many things. Um, it's, it, it's a free radical scavenger. It's an antioxidant recycler. When vitamin C, C. vitamin E is 
is all used up, the pork acid makes it useful again. It causes re- glutathione to uh, be prevalent in the body, which is the greatest intracellular antioxidant. It stimulates organ regeneration because it's so effective. It's a heavy metal chelator. It restores T cell function. It enhances insulin sensitivity. In, in uh, parts of Russia, when somebody has a myocardial infarction, a heart attack or a stroke, they give them intravenous lipoic acid and it reverses the ischemia re- reperfusion in- injury and people could go home very soon afterwards. But once more, it's, it's the rate limiting factor for the production of energy from your food. It, it just, it's, it's a stimulator of good mitochondrial function. And, and that, that makes cells very healthy and, and they regenerate. And at the same time, this poisons cancer cells. Now, folks, I want you to understand this. Every cell in your body has power plants, has generators that produce electrical energy. If you remember your biology back in high school, it's called the mitochondria. All good health is based upon good energy production within the mitochondria. And there are a number of factors that play into that. Hormone replenishment, thyroid is very important. It's like the spark plug for the mitochondria. Your vitamins are very important and nutrients such as alpha-lipoic acid, but magnesium is very important. And other key minerals or, and uh, vitamins are very important for allowing the mitochondria to produce electrical energy that drives all the biochemical processes in your body and makes the organs function. And alpha-lipoic is a key ingredient to that energy production. So, if you want, if you're unhealthy, you want to increase your energy and one of the uh, within the cell, the energy production, and one of the as as we become toxic from all the toxic substances we inhale, drink, breathe, slather on our body, metals in the environment, all the petrochemicals, um, high sugar diets that cause inflammation, all these things downregulate your power plants, your generators, so you don't produce much energy. And you've got symptoms, you go to the doctor and they offer you drugs or they offer you a liver transplant or something else. When a simple, simple way to treat this is to provide the body what it needs to heal itself. God has given your body amazing restorative powers if you will put the right natural molecules back in your body, either the molecules or the hormones you used to make an adequate amount but have declined, or those other special nutrients, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin A, zinc, iodine, alpha-lipoic acid, all these things have tremendous power in helping you detoxify your body and enabling your cells to produce the energy needed to restore, to regenerate, and to revitalize. And that's what alpha-lipoic acid does. Now, at your center, out in, uh, out in New Mexico. And the name of your center is what, doctor? The Integrative Medical Center of New Mexico. The Integrative Medical Center in New Mexico. And tell me, what type of patients do you treat there? What are the problems that people, people come to your center in Las Cruces to solve? Well, people uh, have been coming from all over the world. And um, we started out by doing doing uh, lipoic acid therapy for uh, chronic liver disease, hepatitis C. I published a a paper sometime back in a peer-reviewed journal about three people with early cirrhosis and hepatitis C that we completely reversed with my triple antioxidant therapy, which is um, lipoic acid, silymarin, and selenium. Selenium, uh, Dr. Will Taylor from, um, he was at the University of Georgia, found that if the selenium levels are at a certain level, uh, the hepatitis C virus uh, has trouble replicating. So um, we, we, we demonstrated that these three people who were very sick with hepatitis C within six months had normal liver function. But uh, we, we treated hepatitis C, autoimmune hepatitis, 
primary biliary cirrhosis, all of the chronic liver problems. And then, then we got into uh, diabetes, the reversal of diabetic neuropathies. Uh, lipoic acid within three weeks usually will, will reverse a neuropathy. And then a, a man came in, oh, uh, several years ago with um, metastatic pancreatic cancer. And his uh, oncologist told him that there was no hope he should go to, he should go to uh, hospice. hospice. And we put him on uh, lipoic acid IV twice a week and low-dose naltrexone at bedtime. And he started feeling better. And 10 years later, the PET scan showed no sign of uh, metastatic uh, pancreatic cancer. And, by the and I published that. Yeah, by the, yes. by the way, folks. Pancreatic cancer is a death sentence. I don't know a soul that has gone through chemotherapy that ever survived pancreatic cancer, and I know several people that have died of it. And so Dr. Bergson had a patient with metastatic pancreatic cancer, which is a, which is a death sentence. There's no way in current medical practice that anybody lives with that. And yet using alpha lipoic acid, you were able to not only review, reverse, but cure him, and he's had no relapse at all in 15 years. Now, this is remarkable, folks, and it would seem to me, and I'm learning a lot right now, we do alpha lipoic acid here. We haven't promoted it as much as we should have. Um, and and uh, Dr. Sheridan was has encouraged me to do that, so we do use it. But uh, I think this is something that we need to really focus more highly on and and informing through marketing people that have these chronic problems like chronic cirrhosis, chronic liver disease, and people that have diabetic neuropathies and diabetes, even people that have end-stage cancer, particularly cancer of the pancreas. These are things that we need to be promoting that we offer that we can do that because we have alpha lipoic acid here and we have it because we follow Dr. Ber uh, Berkson, his recommendations. Now, Dr. Berkson, do you use any other vitamins and minerals? Do you use vitamin C at all, high-dose vitamin C for anything? And Yeah, lately we've been using um, intravenous, for cancer at least, we've been using intravenous vitamin C in the morning. And, and uh, it gets all used up. And then we send people out to lunch. And then they get IV lipoic acid in the afternoon, which recycles the vitamin C and makes it useful again. And the lipoic acid, the lipoic, you know, cancer cells are anaerobic in right. most cases. Right. And they, they, they survive without oxygen. Lipoic acid forces these cancer cells to live aerobically they by a mitochondrial type of um, metabolism and when this happens they tend to commit suicide and die uh, lipoic acid you know our treatments i don't think cures cancer but uh, but in many cases it causes uh, tumors and metastases to disappear and uh, as long as they do the treatment uh, many people seem to do very well Right after uh, this uh, publication on uh, with this man with with the metastatic um, pancreatic cancer met metastases in liver, I published another paper with uh, three more people with uh, metastatic pancreatic cancer. Within six months, the PET scan showed no no cancer. Now this is remarkable. Now, what about oral alpha lipoic acid for the individual that wants to maintain good? liver function. Maybe the liver enzymes are up a little bit. Maybe they drink a little too much. They got some alcoholic there. Maybe they drink too much alcohol and they, and their liver's overworked and you don't have the vitamins and minerals you need. So it's stressing the liver. I mean, what about the average person and the petrochemicals that we have in the environment and, and drugs that we come in contact with? All these, all these things have to be detoxified folks by your liver. Tell me about is there a recommendation you would have for the average individual? Is it beneficial for them to take any alpha lipoic acid? And if so, what type? Well, you know, lipoic acid, when you, when you swallow it, 
it's almost all absorbed immediately. It's, it, you know, you could smell it in the urine within 15 minutes after you, you swallow it. The lipoic acid goes right from the, the digestive tract through the portal vein directly into the liver. A little bit gets out into the bloodstream. If you get it intravenously, tremendous amounts go into the bloodstream and get into the heart, the lungs, the liver, the pancreas, the brain, everything. But if you take it orally, you get a lot of it in, into the liver. And this uh, stimulates good liver regeneration. It, 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 it interferes with the free radical process. It neutralizes the poisons that um, we come in contact with. It's, it's just an, um, uh, an amazing substance. You know, for 23 years, I was the FDA principal investigator for lipoic acid as a prescription drug. And no drug company was interested in this. Uh, when, when I bring up this information to uh, various uh, vice presidents of drug companies, they say, you know, if, if we give it for, for cancer, it'll also um, interfere with our uh, business of um, uh, drugs for diabetes and liver disease. This is a terrible drug. So uh, eventually <laughs> it was dropped as a prescription drug and um, classified as a nutraceutical. But one interesting thing, I just found out uh, not too long ago, that a drug company has taken alpha lipoic acid and, and taken that molecule and twisted it a little bit and added a, a, another molecule to it so they could get it patented. And they're using it for, um, for pancreatic cancer now. Isn't that amazing? And probably charging an arm and a leg for that, I would imagine. I'm sure it would. <laughs> well, Dr. Bergson, what type of alpha lipoic acid do you do you recommend? Because I know you know people people are going to hear this program and go. I'm going to go get some alpha lipoic acid. Tell us what kind you recommend. Well, you know the prescription drug in Europe is still the R plus S form the natural plus the synthetic form. And that's what I use because that's, that's what has been uh, researched uh, in, in Europe and the United States for, for many, many years. There are hundreds of publications on this. Uh, there's also the pure R form, which is probably theoretically better, but um, since the prescription drug in Europe is the R plus S, uh, that's, that's what we use for IV therapy. What about oral, we, we what carry, about what about yeah, oral on. what about oral therapy? I mean, if we're taking it, you know, we carry alpha lipoic acid here at the Hotsi Health and Wellness Center at the Hotsi Vitamin Store. Um, yes. So we have been told that the best type to use through Dr. Sheridan was the European brand. Um, that's what you use. Is that what you still recommend? Yeah, I recommend. That's what I take orally. Right. The uh, R plus S. Right. So, and that's what we offer here at the Hotsi Health and Wellness Center, and we prescribe this routinely to our guests because we know that it's going to be beneficial not only for liver function, but throughout the entire body it's going to provide benefit at the mitochondrial energy production level. It also regenerates vitamin C and vitamin E, which you need as antioxidants. It also regenerates glutathione, which is a great detoxifier. Uh, and antioxidant that your body needs. So alpha lipoic can play a significant role in helping you obtain and maintain health and wellness naturally. And compared to everything, any other pharmaceutical drug, all these sell at a pittance of what a pharmaceutical drug does, and all the pharmaceutical drugs do is poison your body and poison your mitochondria. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Dr. Berkson, I just want to congratulate you on being an innovator. I want to congratulate you on going down a path less traveled. I want to congratulate you on breaking away from the herd and in the face of all kinds of adversity and uh, derision by conventional doctors that you decided to cut a path that was different. And in doing that, you've literally helped and saved the lives of thousands of individuals 
and we count it a privilege that you took time to join us and share with us your expertise and your experience about alpha lipoic acid. Thank you so much, Steve. It's yes. My- it's oh, my pleasure. And <laughs> Dr. Bergson, I was just going to ask how people can find you. Do you have a website if they wanted to find out more information about you? Yes, it's drbergson.com. And that's spelled B E R K S O N. Dr. Bert Bergson. Dr. Bergson, is that just is it D O C T O R or just D R Bergson? It's a D R Bergson. D R Bergson.com. Yeah. Also, you know, if you go to Google or PubMed and you just type in uh, Berkson, B like Burton, M like Martin, you'll see tremendous amounts of information. And uh, on PubMed, uh, you can find out uh, many of my publications. On Google Scholar, you could you could see uh, several of my books and many of my publications in medicine and in bi- biological sciences. Or are your books available on Amazon? Is the Alpha Lipoic yes. Acid Breakthrough on Amazon? Yes, and also Syndrome X, um, the metabolic syndrome. It was the first metabolic syndrome book. Well, Dr. Berkson, you've cut a you've cut a very broad path, and I'm hoping that those that listen to you today will be encouraged that if you have any of these chronic problems or if you want to simply Get yourself on a path of health and wellness naturally that you will add to your new, uh, nutritional regimen, alpha-lipoic acid. By the way, how many milligrams should they take a day of alpha-lipoic acid, RS? Well, I think a normal uh, adult can take 300 milligrams twice a day with food, but they should always take a B-complex vitamin with it. Because B-complex vitamins, especially thiamine and biotin and riboflavin, are depleted during during this metabolic process. So there you have Good information. It. There you have it from the expert. That's right. And like Dr. Hoodsey mentioned earlier, we do offer alpha lipoic acid and B-complex actually at Hoetze Vitamins. You can go to HoetzeVitamins.com. That's H-O-T-Z-E vitamins.com and as always if you want to have a conversation with us want to find out more about how you can get your life back you can call us at 281-698-8698 we also offer alpha lipoic acid intravenous therapy yes. as well here at the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center so for those of you that have serious health problems related to liver disease uh, even heart disease diabetes uh, diabetic neuropathies that's where you're you're tingling and, and you lose, get numbness in your extremities from, from uh, nerve damage. We offer the alpha lipoic acid here, so you might give us a call. Absolutely. And again, that number is 281 698 8698. And again, thank you for joining us today here at Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution. A special thanks to Physicians Preference Pharmacy, formerly Hotsey Pharmacy proud sponsor of Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution podcast. Information provided on this radio program is neither intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice and is not intended to replace the services of a physician, nor does it constitute a doctor-patient relationship. You should not use information from this radio program to diagnose or treat a health problem or disease without consulting with a qualified health care provider. If you have or suspect you have an urgent medical problem, promptly contact a professional health care provider or call 911. Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution radio program advises you to always seek the advice of a physician or other qualified health provider prior to starting any new treatment or with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Any application of the recommendations from this radio program is at the listener's discretion.